This tin can engine uses a Ross yoke. Most tin can engines have the con rods hanging from a pin on the crank disc. This means that the con rods move left and right a little and they cause the hanging cans to hit the rotor reservoirs. And to get over that problem, the con rods are made very long to minimise the problem. This approach with the Ross yoke, Ross yoke means that the con rods move up and down more or less vertically, so the engine can be a lot shorter, a lot uh, more compact in design. The engine runs at about 25 to 30 RPM and can run as long as 40 minutes. There's a couple of features that I'd like to show you, so I will stop the engine in a moment and um, disconnect the hot con rod and show you the insides because inside there there are a lot of wires, hanging wires, which um, help transfer the heat. They dip in and out of the water and help transfer heat from the water into the air. Also, looking at that transfer pipe in the centre of the water reservoir, there's stainless steel regenerator wire. The water, please note, the water is not boiling. That is a still surface on the water there. It's probably about 98 degrees centigrade. Um, I can get the engine started after 95, uh, but it is definitely not on the boil. I will now fix the conrod back into place and show you a couple of other things and then get the engine restarted. Let's have a look at the burner. The burner down here is very simple, just a copper pipe with six holes in and there are six flames about a centimetre high. You probably can't see them, but that's burning propane gas at three pounds pressure. Then there's the drain pipe. Uh, water condensate does build up in the transfer pipe and can stop the engine. Um, so the pipe tilts down a little to take the condensate away from the transfer pipe to try and keep it um, open and let the engine run a little longer. I'll now vent the air from that and position the engine almost at top dead centre where the red line is and quickly close that valve and see whether I can get it to start to run again. With the engine at top dead centre uh, there is a maximum of air in the engine to actually uh, heat and drive. So away we go again. So a very nice gentle action and the Ross yoke is a success.